Miss Tug. Ugh, Lord, that's me, Mom. Let me prove it to you right now. Me and Joe Connors just had an affair, oh. and I was getting really upset about it, so... So that's why you decided to come here? Mm. I see. George, Darren. <laughs> Hi, Darren. <Hello. laughs> Darren, tell me, why boy George? Because you do him beautifully. Um... I don't know. Well, he's a star, isn't he? He's a big star, so it's people like him. Tell me, um... I've heard through the grapevine you met him. Is that true? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, one day he was at my friend's house, or such this guy's house, and um, he asked me, he phoned up and he asked me to do a video with him for, uh, it was in America, for Karma Chameleon. So I went up to London and done it with him. It was quite funny. What's he quite like? Quite fun. Fat. Is he fat? <laughs> no, he's nice. He's, he's a very nice person. Because he's, he's huge in South Africa. He really is. Mm. Well, internationally, he's enormous everywhere. I mean, he's, I mean, he's very well known everywhere, but like in England, he's gone down a bit. He's, since he's had his hair cut, and his records have been of a bit of a disaster and that. But I mean, he's all right still. I love him still. <laughs> Who made that wonderful outfit of yours? Uh, this little girl I know, she's only 17, and she's just started college, and she makes all... I'm used to make all my own costumes and things, and she made this lovely boy George outfit. Do you actually like his music? Some of it, yeah. So, tell me something, sorry. <laughs> Darren, in terms of the other acts that you impersonate, okay, have you met any of them? Why do you model yourself on them? Uh, well, not the ones I've done so much, but I've met Divine twice. I met him in a shoe shop in London, and uh, I can't remember. We're Thompson, we're Thompson twins we don't do anyway, but lots of other people which we don't do, mm -hmm. really. You've met them. Mm. I'm going to go over to Karen. I'm going to ask her about your radio, your your active disco active award that you won in 1984. Tell us how you got and what happens once you've got it. Um, well, really, it, it was a it was something to do with the magazine. And quite honestly, I don't really know how it came about. It was a poll or something, a readers' poll, which was nice. And we, I remember we were going through a really bad time. We were all really sort of fed <laughs> up. And all of a sudden, we heard we won this award, so we were quite pleased. And uh, we were awarded it. At, uh, the Hippodrome by Two Page Three Fish. They were quite nice actually for fish. No, they were they were quite nice guys, and um, it was quite a nice evening. Yeah, and basically that was about it. It just adds a bit of prestige, I suppose. Right, more money, money, money for it. Like yeah. yeah, they sort of say, oh, look, they won this, and they go, oh, got a few more quid on there. You know, one pound fifty, rand fifty, have you called them? <laughs> Tell us the club circuit at home in Britain. Are you going home to continue on the club circuit, or where do licorice all sorts go from here, apart from recording your album soon? Uh, well, we're going home to do a few clubs, and then we're going to Denmark for a fortnight. Yeah. Then, hopefully, 
There's talk of an Australian tour, but I don't know if that's coming off or not. We've got to go home and see the agents and see what they're doing, you know what they're like. And, uh, but apart from that, I don't really know what we're doing after Denmark. Mainly the club scenes, I suppose, at home until they come up with something else. Well, we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you, Darren. Sorry? Thank you, Darren. Oh, it's all right, darling. Best <laughs> 